Ok, good afternoon. My name is Juan Miguel Rodríguez Trujillo, a first semester student of economics at the Esternado University. And in my final project for English 5, taught by the teacher Mardofi, I will talk to you about the racism in China against the Uyghurs. Well, let's start saying the racism is a phenomenon present in many countries around the world and with all kinds of races, but China has a huge problem with this, especially with the individual and free development of personality, identity, and culture of minorities. And yeah, I know that we all think that China is a very homogeneous country. We can be more wrong. Almost the 30% of its population doesn't speak Mandarin Chinese, and, and exists more of uh, 300 different languages in China. And talking about diversity, the Chinese government, totally controlled by the Han ethnic group, uh, recognizes 56 ethnic groups, but the Han represent more than the 90% of the population and are the ones who have the economic, social, and political power in the country. But I am going to tell you about a specific minority, the Uyghurs. The Uyghurs are a Muslim ethnic minority that live in China in the Xinjiang and Tibet regions. And recently they have become news for the particular treatment that they receive from the Chinese government. Uh, because the government has been very interested in, in registering their DNA, fingerprints, biometrics, and eye straps. And the Chinese government claims that is an inclusive measure, but in reality, the government does it uh, to have them fully monitored and to be able to trace them because they are seen and justified as a threat. And as they are seen as a threat, the party uh, proceeds according to them to become them into real Chinese. So the Uyghurs are seen without a compelling reason to what the party calls vocational training center. They are obviously not vocational. Okay, now I'm going to tell you about the re-education fields. And well, according to the media, it's estimated that there are more than 500 education fields in Xinjiang. And some studies and NGOs affirm that, that cultural genocides are carried out in these education fields, violating human rights. Besides, in these education fields, the Uyghurs are beaten and forced to shame for always their identity, customs, language, and religion characteristic of them with extremely violent and aggressive methods like tear gas, string guns, and handcuffs. And well, even some birds of these minorities are considered of lower quality and are recommended to abort. Besides, they have had cases in which some women of these minorities are sterilized without her conscience. And also, in general, they, they are considered extremists. There is no evidence to prove it. So they can wear words, veil, use internet, and much less to practice their religions. Okay, to conclude, I will explain two possible solutions. The first one will be an internal solution, and the second one, an external solution. Well, to explain the possible internal solution, I will use an example, the case of Hong Kong. As we know, Hong Kong is a relatively independent state belonging to China. But however, uh, recently China has tried to go beyond certain freedoms ability to one country, two system agreement. And as China uh, tried to ban freedom of the press and education in Hong Kong, a self-determined pro-democracy movement was created, led, led especially by young people and journalists attracting the, the attention of the whole world. And that's uh, precisely what young Han people should do. They should take the lead in protests for the respect and free development of minorities in China. All this to put pressure on the government and put China in the world's magnifying glass. And the second solution is the external solution. Uh, well, fortunately, there is a country that is raising its voice against this violation committed by the Chinese government against the Uyghurs. That country is Turkey. Uh, Turkey is a good example of a Muslim country in democracy. Therefore, can be, it feels competent to report the abuses against the Uyghurs. And in Turkey, a movement similar to Black Lives Matter is being created, Uyghur Lives Matter. And this movement is led by Turks who have 
Uyghur relative in China and who have disappeared or are imprisoned in those vocational training centers. And to conclude, I would say that uh, despite Turkey's effort to try to stop these abuses, it's still not to note and international cooperation is required to end the suffering called by some the Holocaust of the 21st century. Well, thank you so much 